right, folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And uh, hey, Brent, what? It's the it's Friday. What's what are we? How are we closing the week? Uh, bloody nose. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's all red except gold. Gold's up six dollars and ninety cents. Okay, but I mean oil. Everything to crypto is red. And let's let you know how much red. It's not that bad. We're down about seventy bucks or so on uh, on Bitcoin. Puts us at ten eighty uh, eighty. Uh, the crypto overall market is uh, down almost a full percentage point. So we're giving up a little bit more in the altcoins than Bitcoin, yeah. which has been happening for the last week or so. Uh, Dow Jones is off 244. That's almost 0.88%. Uh, S&P is down 1.2%, and it's at 3319. NASDAQ's 1.36, and it's at 10,927. Gold is up $6.88, uh, 1950. And silver is off 24 cents at 26.79, and oil is only off six cents, but it's red. And it's, it's above it's, 40. Yeah, it's a, a little blow, nosebleed, but it's it, it is above 40. It's at 40.88, and then uh, even our even our December 21 future is off today. So. Anyway, apparently people didn't want to hold a whole lot over the weekend. Well, I, I know what it is. Uh, did you watch any of Joe Biden last night on the, his town hall? No, I was playing old man softball. Okay, well, you're far better off. But so, <laughs> so let me tell you something. Watching Joe Biden, it, it was like a tapeworm trying to uh, you know, convince an earthworm <laughs> that they ought to need to uh, eat an elephant. I mean, it, was, uh, it, was, it wasn't good, oh, man. Oh, man. I <laughs> anyway, hear you. Um, folks, this daily update is brought to you as it is every day by Car Anomaly. Putting your cars on the blockchain, folks. It, they're in the I. It, they're in the pre-sale right now. IEO's coming uh, within the next 30 days or so. You don't want to miss riding this ride. You've never. You don't hear us talk about projects and what no. we believe. You know, no. but I'm telling you, this is one we do believe in. And all full disclosure. I've accepted a position as chief marketing officer of that company as one of my sideline deals. So I, that's how much we believe in this thing. Oh yeah. You know. Anyway, uh, listen to this. So there was a, a, a crypto miner that goes back, one of the OGs, when they first uh, set up Twitter, right. yeah. he, he went, his name was Cameron, so he goes out and he goes, at Cameron right. on Twitter, right? Right. So Twitter in 2018, I think, came in and said, hey, you're, you're, you're spamming yeah. and all this stuff. Yeah. And he goes, I'm not spamming, tried to resolve it for literally right. the last two years. Right. Twitter jerked it from him. Made the thing available and gave it to Cameron Winklevoss. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, folks, do you think that the Dorseys and the Winklevosses? Uh, oh, yeah. So we're, we're going from the ridiculous to sublime, but okay. <laughs> it is, man. And I just thought that was something that really the message behind that is has nothing to do with the Winklevosses or nothing to do with Cameron. What it has to do with is the control and the power of these folks that we're giving all this data to. I tell you what. Uh, it, you know, we've been saying for years, it's all about the data, baby. Yeah. Data, data, data. And the quicker Americans can get back control of their data. You bet. And get back control of their digital autonomy. Yeah. I mean, you know, because when you get right down to it, you can build a huge brand in a lot of these social media networks. Yeah. A lot of these young people spend a lot of their time doing that. You know, I not one of them, but, and I mean, and a lot of them, that's their living. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's just like jerked from you. Yeah. And, you know, sorry, we don't like your politics or we don't like your, whether you're he, she, or the it, they, or whatever yeah. the Yeah, the, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, you know, whatever the people put underneath <laughs> yeah. the names yeah. to yeah. identify whatever the hell they're identifying. Yeah. Um, you know, they just jerk it away from yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, folks, it's part of the reason we created Flix, uh, or Flix.net, is because we made this as a, as a sense-free network. I mean, YouTube's pulling all these big social media folks that have gone out and done this Google and all of them, they'll cut you off like that and you have no recourse. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. you so, know a couple of cowboys, you know, we've been yelled at by experts. So, I mean, oh, yeah. We, yeah. we had a disagreement and you have different politics than us. We, you know, lays yeah. a fair, you know, go yeah. at it. And we'll, we'll see who's got the best argument. So. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, so I thought this was something, you know, we can talk about the, some of the, remember the Grand Puba from Africa? Oh, yeah. That yeah. when his, when that his, was, that's our first year. It know, was. When the, the, uh, Parliament when the government over. parliament voted in blockchain, he retired. I mean, right on the spot, took his ill-gotten gains, and I think he moved to London. If yeah, I'm not or something. yeah. So because, just like with voting and everything else, you can track all these expenditures, right? So Germany goes in and says, let's put our government expenses on the blockchain so we can track it. 
And the reason they did what it came out of, especially these uh, mega projects, they were building a new airport that got so over budget and so yeah. overspent and everything else. They said, listen, for transparency, then the citizens can log into this and see where the money's going. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Germany did? <laughs> no. Not happening. <laughs> the government people in charge said, we're not doing that. We don't want y'all to see where the money's going, and why would that be? <laughs> oh, well, we know why that is. So we got 30 seconds left. Give us our good news story. Oh, okay, for good news for that. Folks, you know, the hurricane. Oh, you got a minute left. Oh, okay. The, the hurricane that hit uh, yep. Louisiana and all that, I yep. mean, big, big flooding. And, folks, this is what this country is really kind of all about. A McDonald's franchise, he went and saw this, and you've heard of the McRib. Well, they have the McRig. Right. which is a gargantuan McDonald hamburger making machine, right? <laughs> they drove that thing out there and to all the first responders and everybody that came up that needed it, no qualifications, they handed out over uh, 10,000 meals. I'll tell you what, it, I think it was two years ago, was it when Harvey came through yeah. and hit Rockport? Yeah. My youngest daughter says, Dad, I want to spend my holiday down there helping them move. And we went down there. And I'll tell you what, I've never been more well-fed than when <laughs> that I was volunteering my time, sweating out there, hauling trash and stuff off. Yeah. And, um, I mean, you know, tacos everywhere you went. Yeah. Barbecue everywhere you went. Yeah. And, you know, something to drink everywhere you went. I mean, it was it was something special. Yeah, so folks, least. while while we're out there, and I know we're about out of time, while some people are out there tearing all this stuff up we build, there are great folks out there that are helping people out. Oh, amen to that. Yeah, folks, y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Thank you.